Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel and I actually have something today that someone from the viewing audience sent me and I am really glad they did because this is a guitar that's been floating around on Amazon recently, really affordable guitar and I've seen these but I have not had a chance to check them out. Anyway, the guy that sent me this guitar didn't necessarily want me to make a video about it but uh, he just kind of wanted my opinion on it, but I checked it out and it's pretty cool and so I think it's definitely worth a video. This is a West Creek Guitars DC, which stands for double cut, of course, with a single P90 style pickup. And West Creek has this model and they also have a really cool looking Explore model, which costs just a little bit more than this one. And that one I have not had a chance to check out yet, but maybe I will in the future. Let me know if you want me to down in the comments section below. Anyway, back to this guitar. Maybe you're in the market for like a Firefly or a Grote, you know, something that's at that sub $200 range, under $200. Maybe you can't find one of those guitars, they're out of stock, or maybe you just want something a little bit different. And this one here is right in that same price range with similar specs. So this guitar costs around $170 on Amazon right now and it has a mahogany body and set neck, and it has the rounded ball fret ends that so many people like. Now, the listing does not say anything about them being stainless steel frets, and honestly, these are the rounded ball end frets, but they look a little bit different than the rounded ball end frets that we're finding like on the Eart guitars, right? So, uh, they're probably using a similar method to do these fret ends, but it looks like they're using different tooling and it's probably made in a different factory than all of those other guitars. Now, obviously, this is a very simple guitar with just the single uh, bridge pickup, P90 style pickup, a single volume and single tone. And we've got 22 of these rounded ball in frets, kind of, a, kind of a medium jumbo fret size on a dark rosewood fretboard. Now, uh, the neck profile is um, like, a, I would say, a full C, and it's a 43 millimeter nut with a pretty flat radius on the fretboard. It feels like about a 14 to me, so it's a pretty full feeling neck in your hand. Also, the guitar weighs about 6.6 .6 pounds. When I weighed this one, that's how much it was. And you can get it in, I think, three different colors. As usual, I'll put links in the video description below. I like this headstock. It's got this sort of whoop de whoop kind of wave shape here, you know, West Creek guitar. So there's kind of a water theme going on with the shape here. And I think it's a good way to distinguish themselves from other guitar brands. And of course, avoid any trademark issues with the Gibson headstock. Okay, so it's a pretty straightforward guitar. You know, I'll show you the back there. It's a set neck, of course. And, um, you know, good fret access. I mean, it's only 22 frets. So these cutaways don't have to be too deep or anything like that. Uh, wraparound bridge and tailpiece. Um, yeah, just a nice straightforward kind of no-nonsense rock machine. But of course, we want to hear how it sounds. And then after I've played it, I'll talk a little bit more after that about the playability and, you know, uh, setup and that kind of stuff. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. And I'm going to use my Boss IR200 amp and cab simulator for the demo. Uh, it's a great sounding piece of equipment that I've been using for demos lately. Not super expensive compared to some of these expensive amp simulators. The Boss thing goes for around $399, $400 and everything. So we'll plug into that, see how this all sounds. But real quick, guys, as usual, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new affordable guitars and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. West Creek Guitars, this is new to me. Let's listen to how it sounds. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so let's talk about the sound and the playability and some other aspects of this guitar. Now, uh, as far as the playability, it, it plays well. It's, um, you know, it's a very simple, very straightforward guitar. It has a very flat fretboard radius, like I said earlier in the video. So it makes it very nice for bending and vibrato and that kind of stuff. Um, when I got the guitar, when I was plugging it in and sort of getting it ready to play to do the demo, uh, the strings were a little grimy, and also the fretboard was a little dry. It just, I don't know, you know, sometimes guitars sit in the packaging for a long time where they collect dust or something like that. Uh, but I did a few things for the setup to make it a little bit easier to play. Fortunately, these were very minor things. So I just cleaned the strings. I didn't change the strings. These are the original strings that came on. But I cleaned the strings just with some... Uh, some fluid and some uh, you know polishing cloth. I also oiled the fretboard which made an, a big difference and then I made a truss rod adjustment because I was getting some choked notes here right in the middle of the fretboard but fortunately the truss rod adjustment you know like a half uh, half or a quarter turn maybe a third of a turn was able to eliminate that by increasing the relief on the neck here. So uh, it did need a few set of adjustments Nothing major though. Obviously, I didn't do any fret work or anything like that. I didn't adjust the nut. Um, so yeah, it, it needed a little bit of setup work to get it to where it was really comfortable to play and to get rid of those choke notes and stuff. But once I did that, it plays really nicely. Now, the um, it has a sort of um, a little bit of an odd, not odd in a bad way, but just an interesting um, amount of resonance for an electric guitar. Like you strum it and you feel the guitar vibrating. It almost has a sort of almost has sort of a springy feel to it, if that makes sense. And I think it being a very, very simple guitar, kind of a small guitar body, especially even for an electric guitar, uh, that combined so that sort of resonance and how the body vibrates combined with that P90 style pickup that gives you a very raw, very open sounding tone. Uh, it just has a, you know, a lot of character to the tone. And I think if you're doing some sort of medium gain playing, you know, playing some bluesy stuff or like classic rock or something, this is where this guitar is really going to be at home, I think. Obviously with this pickup, it doesn't really handle high gain stuff too well. It loses a lot of clarity as you crank up the gain. So probably not a great guitar for doing super high gain heavy metal or down tuning or anything like that but if you're playing blues or like i said some classic rock maybe even some um, fusion or something where you've got some jazzy sounds but with a little bit of gain or compression on there this guitar is going to be great for that i also think it would be a great first guitar because it's affordable and it's very simple you know easy to change strings easy to change tunings you don't have to mess around with a Floyd Rose or anything like that. It's a very simple, very honest guitar. But if you are getting this as a first guitar or a first guitar for someone else, keep in mind that there might be a little bit of setup work that needs to be done to the, to the guitar to make it really comfortable to play. So, uh, you know, you could get it as a first guitar for someone else when you personally already have experience and then you can do the setup before you give it to them. Or you can just basically get the guitar and then keep in mind that you might want to take it into a shop to have you know the fretboard oiled and some basic setup adjustments done to it and that kind of stuff just to make it a little bit more comfortable to play especially for a beginner. So guys I just want to say again and I've said this many times in other videos that I'm really happy that there are more and more companies getting into the affordable guitar market. I want there to be a lot of competition for entry-level and mid-range guitars because the more competition there is the better guitars that we will end up getting as guitarists, right? We're going to have more choices and the best quality stuff is going to rise to the top. So now we've really got all these different companies, right? Uh, Firefly is, of course, a classic. Boya and Ziki, which I checked out very recently. Uh, what else do we have? We've got Grote, which has been around for quite a while. Latitude, Eert, uh, many others. And now West Creek Guitars, we can add to that list. And like I said, they do have a few other models, uh, and hopefully I can check out that uh, Explorer-type guitar that they have, which has, you know, some cool colors and that kind of stuff. 
costs a little bit more, like 230, 240, I think right around there. But hopefully I can check out one of those in the future. But guys, if there's anybody out there that has bought one of these West Creek guitars, either one of these or one of those Explore models, let us know what you think of it down in the comments section below. As usual, guys, I'm going to have links for everything I was talking about in the video, the guitar and the Boss unit that I was using as the amp. All that stuff will be in the video description below. Guys, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, big thank you to the viewer that sent me this guitar. I'm not sure if he wants me to say his name in the video or anything like that, so I'll just leave that out. But you know who you are. Thanks a lot for sending me this guitar. It's been a lot of fun. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you very soon.